Welcome to the Ask Dr. Deanna Show. I'm Dr. Deanna Holdren, your host. Join me weekly as I cover various health-related lifestyle medicine topics that you get to request. This show is for anyone who wants to proactively improve their health position. I hope you enjoy the show. Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for plugging in today. I am excited to bring you uh, the third part to our Holiday Thrive series. Um, Holiday Thrive has just been about how to uh, basically cruise through the holiday season, uh, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's with uh, just the the most or the best health that you possibly can from weight management to uh, basically just, you know, our mood and, uh, you know, just how to, to thrive rather than just survive. And so I want to finish this series up today with um, a little bit of information on gratitude. And I I mentioned this last week, um, gratitude is such an important component of health. Uh, Believe it or not, it is huge. It's been well studied and uh, it it does definitely have a tremendous impact uh, on our overall health. Many people in the business world will say, um, you know, success starts with an attitude of gratitude as well. Uh, I've heard that so many times in my life and it really is true. Um, Gratitude can completely transform your outlook in a day, uh, in a moment, um, just by basically, um, you know, thinking about, you know, great things, positive things, the things that you're thankful for can make such a difference. Um, it's as if some endorphins, some positive chemicals are released into the body. And we have this feel good sense that really affects everything that we do. Gratitude is basically the quality of being thankful uh, and a readiness to show appreciation for and to return kindness to people. So, you know, I think it's incredible when people are kind to you that you show appreciation and that you return that kindness as well. I think it makes the world just such a better place to be a part of. And uh, I know that it has an impact. So what kind of impact does it have? Um, Well, first of all, it is very, very difficult for one to feel depressed uh, or sorry for yourself when you are feeling gratitude, when you're actively practicing gratitude, which really should become a daily habit for all of us if you want to be healthy. Uh, you know, this is something that you can incorporate. You know, we're soon we'll be t- turning the page on this year and heading into a new year. And a great resolution would just be to incorporate gratitude uh, daily for the uh, the next year would be make such a difference. But I promise if you do it now, start practicing now. It will make a difference as you move through the holiday season as well. So studies show that people who just simply do this one thing have such dramatic results and and have such positive effects in their lives. The one thing is keep a gratitude journal. It's basically just, you know, starting out your morning, thinking about what you're thankful for and jotting that thing down. And it could be something as simple as, you know, you're thankful for, you know, people in your life uh, could could be, you know, a compliment that somebody gave you, um, you know, a, a job well done at work, you know, some recognition, whatever it may be. It could be, you know, nature. I, I, I actually am always amazed uh, by nature, just looking at the beauty of nature, you know, how incredible it is um, and, and how just uh, diverse it is, um, brings me this tremendous sense of gratitude uh, for it. But basically, what they found uh, in studies was that people who did, in fact, keep a daily gratitude journal, um, believe it or not, they exercised more regularly. Um, they reported fewer physical symptoms, which I think is fantastic. I mean, this is all about health. Um, They felt better about their lives as a whole and were consistently more optimistic about how things would turn out, how things were going, and so forth. They're also more likely to make progress toward their goals. So let's stop right there and just hold for a second because this is huge. This is something that we all want. Every single one of us wants to make progress toward our goals. Every single one of us wants to to move forward and have success and have great things, positive things happen, right? So why not incorporate gratitude, you know, as a way to, to, to help facilitate that? 
Um, overall, people who are showing gratitude on a daily basis, keeping a gratitude journal, um, have a greater sense of feeling connected to other people, um, probably because they're showing appreciation and thankful and just recognizing the great things that are happening. Um, they're more optimistic towards life. Um, they have better sleep quality as well. That's uh, something that has uh, definitely uh, been shown to be true is that uh, if you are keeping a gratitude journal and you're just practicing an attitude of thankfulness, gratitude, that you basically sleep better because of that. Um, but there's more. If you said, well, wh what else can I do? You know, a gratitude journal always seems like a great, easy place to start. It doesn't have to be a journal. I mean, it can be a notes page. You know, it doesn't have to be anything hard and fast. It can literally be a notes page. But it's just getting into the practice uh, of putting that out there. Uh, but basically, um, some other things that people can do, I'm just going to give you just a few ideas that, that I thought were really good uh, ideas that can help. Um, you know, especially uh, during the holidays, um, you know, basically, you know, telling someone uh, that you love them and how much you appreciate them. This could be a family member, could be, you know, someone you're really close to, a spouse, whatever. That can actually make you feel good, again, because of the endorphins that are being released and so forth. Notice the beauty in nature each day. Oh my goodness, last winter. This was a hard time because it was a hard storm that we went through. And so in a sense, it's like, oh, I don't want that to happen again. But I do. I do because it was the most magical, beautiful ice storm I have ever seen in Ohio. Um, and I was absolutely just entranced by it. It was something spectacular. And so while I don't want it to happen because I realize it's very dangerous, I also saw the beauty in it and was just tremendously just so amazed. Um, so, you know, seeing nature and seeing how incredible that can be can really add, um, you know, just an overall sense of, of great well-being uh, to your day. Nurture the friendships that you have. Always, you know, think about the, the good, you know, most of us have a handful of really great friends, right? Really good, close friendships, friends who are always, um, you know, always there for you, always able to pick up the, you know, the phone and, and, and call them or send them a message or whatever and kind of pick up where you left off. Um, just, you know, really nurture those friendships and, um, you know, make sure that they know how much you appreciate them. Here's one I love. Smile more often. Okay, smile more often. And I know I personally need to do this. Um, in my family, we have something that we call the, you know, the resting sad face. Um, it is just something that happens. And I, I, I wish that it were not the case. Uh, but genetically, you can go, yep, 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 down the line and see this, um, you know, what I call the sad face. But just smiling more often makes such a difference. Do you ever notice, um, and you can try this, um, you know, not in a creepy way or anything, but if you are, you know, on, in a day, Okay, just decide, just take one day and decide, hey, I've decided I am going to smile more today. And I bet if you smile more that day, you will notice a tremendous difference um, in how you feel at the end of the day. And the reason is that because you have smiled more, it could be, you know, something as simple as smiling, you know, at, you know, uh, something that you see, an interaction, um, you know, whatever it could be, you're going to have some smiles come back to you. And when a smile comes back to you, it does lift your spirits and it makes a difference. So by the end of that day that you decide I'm going to smile more today, you will see a difference in your overall attitude and just how you feel in general um, can make a big difference. Um, random acts of kindness, always a great way um, to basically just, you know, show gratitude. Maybe it's gratitude for what you've been given, you know, just the ability to be able to pay it for forward for somebody else. That is an act of gratitude, um, making a difference there. Um, one thing too, that I always like to do is, you know, I always say to my kids, you can't, you can't unsee something that you've seen. You can't unhear something that you've heard. And so just being mindful of negative media and, um, even movies or media with like destructive content, um, because, uh, again, it kind of affects us in, in a, you know, negative icky way. Who wants that? I don't, um, you know, hang out at the Hallmark channel. There's always a happy ending on the Hallmark Christmas shows, right? Um, so call the people that you love more often, volunteer, get involved, volunteer with an organization that you feel strongly about you will feel better. It will make a difference uh, when you are doing that. Um, absolutely will, will, will show up in a very, very positive way. Um, you know, here's a simple one. 
compliment people, sincerely compliment someone, you know, a friend, a coworker, whomever, a, a, you know, spouse, when, when, you know, they look good, you like what they're wearing, whatever, uh, you like, you know, their new haircut, just compliment them. It makes them feel good. A sincere compliment will make them feel good, but it also will make you feel good as well. Okay. Um, try to take note when people are doing a, a good job. Um, if you, you know, are a supervisor at work or, you know, just you work with a group of people, just pay attention to those things and just call it out. You know, hey, I really like the way you do this. It makes a difference, you know, um, let them know that. And, um, you know, and as you create your gratitude journal and you start, you know, jotting down things that you're grateful for, then you that can become sort of a meditation list. Um, just things that you think about each day that you can start your day off going through your gratitude journal, days past, whatever, you know, try to add, you know, at least one, one to three new things to your gratitude journal each day. And just think about those things because, again, it's going to to lift your spirits and make a huge difference. Um, you can also, um, a lot of times people will post quotes or images throughout their house, in their car, whatever. And these are things that they're just thankful for, that they, um, you know, really, really appreciate and just basically give them a um, a positive feeling inside. So you could, it could be a quote, it could be an image of something um, that is just inspiring uh, that, that, that again, you are thankful for. Um, some people will also do sort of a, um, you've heard of vision boards, which is sort of a vision for your future. And it's basically where you create um, a vision in, in, um, with media. Uh, and, and it's something that you look at and you think about, uh, you know, you, you, think about and in a sense, you know, um, you know, just put that out there that these things uh, are things that you are working toward goals, whatever. Um, so that's sort of a vision board, but some people will do a gratitude board and a gratitude board is very, very similar to that. Only you are basically uh, creating this board with images of things that you are thankful for in your life. Uh, images of things that that make you feel good, um, that you're happy about, that again, give you that sense of uh, thankfulness uh, in your life. And again, that becomes something that you maybe keep somewhere that you can look at daily uh, because it will inspire you and will help you just to feel better overall. So those are just some of my tips uh, for gratitude, you guys. I know that it makes a difference. It makes a difference in my life. Uh, it has made a difference in so many other people's lives. And here's what I found. People who are successful in life generally are, are very uh, thankful and do show gratitude uh, and appreciation uh, in their lives uh, toward others and are just thankful for um, for what they've been blessed with. So it definitely is, um, you know, just I think it's a, a tenant of success, if you will. Uh, and again, will make a difference. So where are we going for the rest of the year? You guys, I'm excited about um, this, th this series that we've just finished, this Holiday Thrive. I know it will be impactful. I know that it will help so many people um, just with overall attitudes and, and how um, they are able to, to move through the holiday season and um, just feel better and, and be healthier. Uh, as well. You know, when people are, are happy and healthy uh, and have good energy, uh, they actually look uh, so much better. So when you think about, you know, that person who's, you know, dressed to the nines or looks like a million dollars or whatever, you've heard all those um, sayings and so forth. It's really more what's going on inside of them, I think, that 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 manifests that and kind of gives that overall um, sense to people. Uh, so anyway, just keep that in mind. Um, but the next series where I want to go through the end of this year, uh, I would like to do a series. Um, this, so this will be about three weeks, which will finish up our year. And uh, I'm calling it the intangible life. Um, there are so many things in our lives that are intangible. You can't really put a price on them. You can't buy them, but they are so impactful and they are difference makers and they do impact our health in a very, very dramatic way. I'll talk about some of the studies 
that have been done. I'll talk about some of the things um, that, that, that we've seen even in medicine and how it has had an impact on overall health. We'll wrap up our year with the Intangible Life series, and then we're straight into January, which of course is all about weight loss, intermittent fasting, all the good things uh, to help you, you know, shed pounds and get to that uh, ideal uh, weight, uh, you know, your goal weight, whatever it is that you're, you know, trying to accomplish there. Uh, And we'll talk about goals and resolutions and all of that uh, in terms of you know, weight and health and that sort of thing as well. So, so thank you so much for joining me uh, today. I hope this has been helpful. I'm excited uh, to be able to um, just really enjoy uh, spending time with family, with friends, and uh, connecting on a deeper level this holiday season. I'm excited to show gratitude and um, just um, be able to appreciate those uh, who are in my life. And that includes you. So thanks so much for joining me and have a great day. I hope you enjoyed that episode. For more information, visit me at DeannaHoldren.com. Find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Dr. Deanna Holdren. I really want to hear from you, so message me. I love taking your messages and creating topics from them. Please rate, review, subscribe, and share my show with those who have an interest in health and wellness. Thank you for tuning in and see you next week.